All right, guys, welcome back for another course preview. Today, I'm really excited to chat you through the brand new routes that we've got for the Run Through Trails Lady Bower Reservoir event presented by the North Face and SportsShoes.com. This year, we're going to have a 52 kilometer race as well as a 22K. Both routes are going to take on a lot of the same course that we've used previously, but with some big additions and some big upgrades. Both the 52K and 22K routes are going to start and finish at Hope Showground. The first kilometer is on a road closure before entering onto a double wide farm track. Runners will proceed along towards Thorn Hill before turning left and heading up the biggest climb of the 22k route to Summit Wind Hill. This starts with a nice reversing trail before taking on the steep step section up to the summit. From the top of Wind Hill, 22k and 52k runners will proceed all the way along the top of the ridge with stunning views over the Lady Bower, Derwent and Howden Reservoirs. This is one of the coolest sections of the route. After a fast rolling descent down through some single track trails, you'll pass through the first aid station on the edge of the reservoir. After this aid station, we've got a really quick undulating section of gravel path that takes you all the way back around to the dam at Lady Barra Reservoir. At this point, the two routes split. 22K runners will turn right and continue straight back down the beautiful Thornhill Trail and all the way back through Thornhill into the event village to finish, whereas the 52K runners will cross Lady Bower Dam and go into their second aid station. After passing through the second aid station at the Heatherdean Car Park, 52K runners will cross the road and head all the way up the west side of the Derwent and Howden Reservoirs. After a fast flowing road section, they'll end up at the third aid station, which is at the King's Tree roundabout, same as previous years. After refueling at the third aid station, they'll head around the top of the Howden Reservoir before coming back down the east side of the reservoir into the fourth aid station. It's only a short distance between aid stations three and four, so it's another opportunity to fill up supplies before a long unsupported section. After passing through aid station four, the 52K runners will take on a significant climb up, up onto Durban Edge, passing over Back Tour and White Tour, as well as some other iconic peaks. This is a really cool section of the course made up of big gritstone paving slabs with incredible views in both directions over the reservoir and out over the surrounding peaks. After a long section along the top of Durban Edge, there'll be a fast descent down through Herkling Stones and back down into the Heatherdean Car Park aid station, which they'll be passing for the second time. After this, all of the climbing is done. Runners will cross back over the Lady Bower Dam and have a fast downhill section all the way down the stunning Thornhill Trail, back through the village of Thornhill and back into the event village the way they came. All right, hopefully that short preview now has made you feel a little bit more prepared for race day. Both courses are absolutely stunning. It's going to be an epic weekend of racing. And again, we're really proud to be presented by the North Face and partnering with sportsshoes.com for this event. We're expecting over 2,000 runners and it's just such an epic venue. It's always going to be one of our flagship events here at Run Through Trails. So we look forward to seeing you there on the weekend. If you're entered, get rested up and we'll see you soon. If you haven't, head over to runthroughtrails.com, get signed up, follow us on socials as always and run inspired.